Right, this is the end plate for a MyFed Super 7 uh, lathe. Uh, this is a spare one. This is the collar nut. And this is the feed screw. Uh, if the collar nut is tightened too much, it will get sticky, very hard to turn. You know, if you have the ball handle here, with the myocometer here. Now I'm gonna take this apart. This is the collar nut. Now, taking the feed screw out, and this is the end of plate for the cross slide for the MyFit Super 7. This is the half inch part of the feed screw. So if I'm trying the vernier now, see, this is the part of the feed screw where these bearings has to be fitted. I'm going to take one set of these bearings. Now, if I measure the inside of these bearings, they are more than half an inch. So that's one part. This is the middle part. More than half an inch. And this is the third part. These are the races or the, the washers for the axial roller thrust bearings. And this is, these are the roller bearings. Now I'm gonna fit one onto the feed screw, as you can see here. Okay, this is the half inch which I meant in my auction. Okay, and then the end plate in. Then the other set of thrust roller bearings. Okay, this is another one. This is what I like about these bearings because they are very thin. So, so uh, 138 thou thickness, which is. 3.5 millimeters. Now I'm going to fit this second set of bearing. Okay. Okay. Fits neatly on the half inch part of the feed screw, as you can see here. And then now I'm going to take the collar nut. See, so you have about three or four threads left there. So I'm going to put the uh, collar bearing in, right? Fit it on. Now, tighten with the thumb, okay? And you can see how smooth it is turning, okay? The feet are crooked, and there is no play. There is no play. And then you can tighten the grub screw here, okay? And this will be fitted back into the cross slide, okay? It doesn't take more than five minutes, okay? No matter how much you tighten this collar nut, okay? You still have smooth movement of the feed screw without any stickiness, okay? And uh, this is how it should be fitted.